Hey, hey, sit down. Sit. Stay. Good afternoon. My name is Sterling Connolly Chu. My company is Second Growth Homes. Today, we're starting to harvest a new unit. And this is pretty cool because this is actually kind of a bonus unit. What happened was I had finished the main area of the Barking Dog Timber Sale and I thought that I was done, complete with it. Forrester came out and then she sent me an email and said, hey, I noticed you hadn't done any falling on the other side of the road. <laughs> Over here. And uh, that was really funny. This timber sale is actually my dad's and uh, we didn't look closely at at it enough, I guess, and realize that there's this other little area over here. So we got a whole new unit to cut. So this is a fresh area. I would say it's about one acre. So it's not very large, small unit. We're hoping to get about 30 trees. That's what I need to finish our log home order. Uh, we got 52 logs out of the 80 logs that we need to get. And these logs are getting sent up north in Alaska to build a log home. I do have about 50 trees in my timber sale over here, an older ones, but these are right by the road. Uh, this is gonna be really, really fun here today. So we got the still MS660 Magnum out today, sharpened up, rakers are filed, this baby's ready to go, gassed up. And we got my old still, the 034 Super Magnum 2. And, uh, I had an issue with both of my Husqvarna chainsaws, my, both my small Huskies. Uh, it's not a negative thing to Husky, it's just they've been working hard and one of the mufflers fell off, bolts stripped out. Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember what's wrong with the other one right now, but they're both out of commission. So we're running my main still saw. This thing's been ripping along all year for me. And we're running the still 034 Super Magnum 2 to limb with, which is fun. It's a great saw to limb with. A little heavier than the Huskies I have. A little smokier, but it uh, does the job. Then for backup, the only saw I've got for backup today is my 460 Rancher Husqvarna. So I'm just gonna take it real easy and go out here and I'll show you these trees. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you're gonna love this, they're beautiful trees. We're gonna be falling and limbing today. If you'd like to see more videos of me doing this harvesting, I've got a lot more to do this season. So please click the like and subscribe buttons below. And then you can come back to YouTube search for second growth homes and you can find our channel that way and come along with me for harvesting this beautiful young growth sitka spruce timber here in southeast alaska thanks for watching okay i'm going to take you on a walk out here with me to show you how beautiful this little spot is that we're working so here we're going out and it's just so nice and uh open and flat through here you can just stroll through it it's awesome absolutely awesome in here this is great so you can see here <clears throat> that big brute blue uh, line on that tree the blue ones are the ones that we can take and they try to get about one third of the trees marked. So what that means is we're taking about one out of every three trees to kind of thin the stand a little bit. So here's the first tree we're gonna cut today. Kind of a limmy one, but just big and beautiful. So this is interesting because this is a blue tree, but they also put the boundary marker on it. The boundary goes right up through here. So that's kind of funny, but it's blue, it's ours. So then our unit goes over here this way. Our unit goes over this way. That'll be the second tree we cut. That's just a beauty. And you know, I have no idea how far up this way it goes since we didn't even know this was ours. So I don't see the boundary back there yet, which is really intriguing because they might have gone way up here. We don't know. I don't even know how many trees are in this part of the sale. It's really a funny, it was really a funny thing that's happened, but you know, I ain't complaining. The more the better. And we need them, so. Let me get the camera set up here. Get our saw going. 
and uh, just have a real good safe day cutting this beautiful young goat spruce down here. Beautiful tree. What a beautiful tree to start with here today. Really a nice one. I'm just looking now, see if I can get this first one down without cutting anything else. And looks like I need to cut this one little hemlock here. So I got about a six inch hemlock in the way and the branch of this tree are already wrapped around it. So there's not really any way for me to get past that one. So we'll go ahead and make a couple cuts here, get that one moving, and then we'll go from there. Just sharpen that saw, it's just cutting absolutely perfectly here today. So that's just what I wanted that one to do. Started to fall the way it goes, it's just sitting there. So this big one will take it down. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do it.
man. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, that was great. Just absolutely dead straight. Oh, nice fall. <laughs> what a way to start. And this tree, when it's bucked at 50 feet, it's at the road. It's actually crossing the road right now. So those are so easy to guard with the excavator. Oh, that was great. Well, oh, I think we'll cut two more. We'll start limbing here today. Oh, that was awesome. Whoops. Maggie being a really good girl out here with me today.